For question number 41, in the USAID's navigation system on the Western Rivers, the light characteristic of group flashing 2 is used for which lights? Well, in the light list, they um, have a couple of key images in the front of the light list. We've used them already several times, but be sure you go to the section for the Western Rivers, and you can kind of see there that the, um, the group flashing 2 belongs to the left descending bank there. So um, it's pretty much straightforward right out of the light list. Just uh, go to that page and you should be able to get that answer there. Speaking of the light list, which describes privately maintained aids to navigation included in the light list? Well, there's a couple places in the light list that talk about privately maintained aids to navigation, but at the Coast Guard Navigation Center, they stated a little bit more clearly and this isn't something you would probably look up on the exam, it's just something to know, that they must conform to the standards of the U.S. AIDS to navigation system. Uh, they're not required to have the words private aid on them. They can really be painted just about any, you know, standard color, so they don't need to be painted white, they don't have to have a white light. And then they are definitely permitted, um, and so here's an image of a Coast Guard permit if you wanted to if you wanted to add a private aid to navigation somewhere, you'd have to fill this kind of thing out. So it's reviewed by the Coast Guard and then included in the, um, the light list from time to time. Under the IALA A and B buoyage system, IALA stands for the International Association of Lighted Aids, so buoys and stuff. A buoy with alternating red and white vertical stripes indicates what? When you see the red and white vertical stripes, you should go to the sea buoy or the Morse Alpha buoy or the safe water buoy is another name for it. So it indicates that there is navigable water all around. Looking at the other options, the preferred channel to port or the preferred channel to starboard, um, not red and white, those would be red and green, and they would also be horizontally striped. And then an isolated danger buoy, these are black and red buoys um, that indicate a specific danger. So in this one, alternating red and white, it's the safe water buoy. There's navigable water all around. Number 44, you're inbound in a channel marked by a range. And a range is something that is two fixed objects that you can use to line yourself up on uh, for travel. In this case, it says the line of travel is 040 degrees true. You're steering 036, and it looks like the image below, and it's closing, so that's important. Um, so let's take a look at the image first. So the exam says that we see this image, and to me it looks like the forward range here is to the left of the aft range. So in essence, I'm somewhere over here, and I need to come to the left in order to make these two things line up. So I'm right of range. I need to come to the left. So let's look at what the choices are. And in this case, um, it says that the range is closing. So that's good. So I am coming to the left. I'm steering to the left of 040. That's my range line, and I'm steering 036. So what should I take? Well, if I continue on course until the range is closed, in other words, lined up, and then I come to the right, that would be good. I should be on range then. If I immediately alter course to the right, that would not do me much good because I would open the range in that case. If I continued, or if I immediately altered course to 040, although that's what the range line is, I would still be right of range because I haven't arrived at the coincident point of them yet. Additionally, just because it's 040 doesn't mean that's the course I need to steer. If there's a cross current, for instance, I need to steer a different course. Finally, continuing on the present heading until the range is in line, okay, that's good, but then alter course to the left, that would not be good. In essence, I would just open the range in the other direction. So choice A is the correct answer there. For question number 45, how is the intensity of light expressed in the light lists? And these are all great choices. Um, they're very applicable to solving intensity of light questions or visibility of light questions. But the correct answer here is nominal range. Geographic range is in essence the kind of curvature of the earth limited thing. Luminous range is a combination of nominal range and meteorological visibility. Um, and that's how far you could see a light. But the intensity of the light is not how far you can see it. Meteorological range doesn't actually exist. I think they're trying to trick you and say that it's meteorological visibility. So that's the visibility of the atmosphere. And if you combine nominal range with meteorological visibility, you end up at luminous range. Nominal range, therefore, um, according to the definition, is the intensity of the light, how far you could see it on an average day. 
So that's the intensity units there. And uh, in the light list, when they say range, this is the range that's given is nominal range. Finally, for number 46, the datum from which predicted heights of tides are reckoned in the tide tables is the same as that used for charts of the locality. Okay, that is good to, good to know, but it doesn't really ask a question. The depression of the datum below mean sea level for Hampton Roads, Virginia is what? Okay, well, I guess that information is maybe useful. The depression of the datum is saying how far um, below or above mean tide level is the datum. So in essence, what they're saying is I need to go into the light list and look up the mean tide level. So you can see in the image here, there's a couple definitions for datum, uh, for depression, which talks about depression of the datum, chart datum, et cetera. But the key is mean tide level. And so if you go into the light list all the way on the right for Hampton Roads, the mean tide level is listed as 1.2 feet. So that would be the correct answer. So a lot of uh, definitions you might need to know in here, but that's uh, in essence a fairly simple question. Is <laughs> Thank you.